At the age of 18, Sheck West dropped arguably the biggest banger of the last decade. A song made in just 20 minutes even got to the point where people were literally having to quote, restrict the playing of Mo Bamba at parties because their floors couldn't handle it. You don't see that a lot. We fell through the floor. However, after blowing up and signing a joint record deal with Kanye West and Travis Scott back in 2018, it wasn't long before Sheck West then kinda disappeared. What nobody talks about when it comes to having a massive hit is all of the difficulties that come with it. More specifically, how hard a track like Mo Bamba is to follow up. But as we're about to see, maybe Sheck West didn't even want to follow it up, and instead has moved on to chasing his other childhood dream. Il ressort pour Sheck West, à 3 points, à 3 points pour Sheck West, et ça, ça va faire lever la foule with just four singles released since 2020 and no album in over five years, some fans believe that Sheck West has retired from making music. So let's take a look at the truth, starting back where it all began. Sheck West titled his debut album Mud Boy, which is what he describes as a very accurate description of his rough childhood. Before being sent over to Africa by his mother due to behavioral issues, Sheck West spent the first 17 years of his life back and forth between Harlem and Milwaukee. His parents had split and neither of them financially stable, leading to, as Sheck says, an extremely hostile environment growing up. My mom came here in 93 to hustle and grind for everything we had. She didn't know how to read or write. Same with my father in 95, came from nothing. We lived in a one-bedroom apartment. One bedroom. My house was this big, I swear. My bed was here, my sister bed was here, one bathroom, my mom room. Although Sheck was interested in music, his first true love was the game of basketball. Since he was a kid, he enjoyed hooping, but after realizing in high school that his grades were never going to be good enough for college, basketball became what he thought was his only way out, pushing him to lock in even harder. As a 6'2 combo guard you can see here, Sheck definitely does indeed have some skill on the court, a statement even LeBron agrees with. J. Cole cool, but Sheck West. Sheck West, oh, yeah, he was a, oh, he he was a real yeah. ball player, ball player yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he could hoop for real. It was through basketball in the streets of Harlem that Sheck would first meet Mo Bamba, the future NBA lottery pick who'd not only be the name of the now five-time platinum song, but who'll also vouch for Sheck as a player. Not a lot of people know his background, but Sheck was a basketball player. He led the city in assists. And then, yeah, he was real. However, during his high school year, Sheck's slender 6'2 frame also caught the eye of a talent scout for a modeling agency in the city, thus introducing him to the world of fashion. At this time, he was able to keep playing ball while also landing modeling gigs on the side. But that was until everything changed the night of February 11th, 2016 on the biggest stage in Madison Square Garden. The exact same night of his team's big playoff game was Kanye West's iconic Yeezy Season 3 show and listening party, an event Sheck had been offered to model for. Making, quote, the best decision of his life, Sheck skipped his playoff game to model on stage next to Young Thug and Lil Yachty, as well as countless other A-list stars in attendance, something he says opened a lot of doors for him in his career. If we would have made it to the championship, we would have played in Madison Square Garden. But if I would have just went to season three, I would have been... He was going to Madison Square Garden. Square Garden. <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, though, this was still a year before Mo Bamba was even released, and two years before Sheck signed his record deal with Kanye. However, just when things started moving for Sheck West for the first time in his life, his mother then stepped in and decided that it was time for him to actually move, all the way back to Africa. Deciding to skip his team's playoff game basically crushed any hope Sheck had left for playing basketball at the next level. Realizing this, he started going all in on modeling as well as also releasing his first songs on SoundCloud. Sheck West comes from a very religious Muslim family, and despite his modeling success, his mother was not happy with this wild lifestyle she saw Sheck getting into. Constantly partying, skipping class, not doing his homework, so she basically tricked him into living with their family in Africa in hopes to get his mind right. My mom sent me to Africa because she didn't want me modeling, and I wasn't going to school. I was like running in the streets with all to my Senegal. friends. Yeah, to Senegal. After arriving in Africa, his brother tricked Sheck into handing him over his passport, lying and saying he'd keep it safe, leaving Sheck stuck there and killing all the momentum he had going in America. What he thought was only a few day trip was now sounding more like a few years, according to his mom. Everybody still, like, yeah. somebody might steal your passport, travel on your passport, like it's things people do, but they was just gassing me up. You know, to and just you get my passport. It over. So I handed my passport over. That was the worst decision I could have made. He had my passport, and then my mom called me like, "Yeah, you just stay in Africa for like two, three years." I'm like, "What?" So two, this is when years. you realized she had set you up. Yeah, and at this time, my modeling shit was booming. Understandably so, at first Sheck was pissed. However, eventually he decided to just embrace it until he was 18 and could return back home, learning valuable lessons and maturing during his time in Africa. 
When he finally returned to the States in 2016, Sheck West was more determined than ever. He picked up his modeling career again and started dropping more songs on SoundCloud. But little did Sheck know, one song he made in just 20 minutes was about to change his life forever. His childhood friend Mo Bamba had been asking Sheck to name drop him in a song ever since he first started making music. That wish came true in 2017. Although independently released in 2017, it wasn't until a year later when Sheck West's Mo Bamba absolutely exploded. Thanks to its repetitive, simple, yet extremely catchy chorus, Mo Bamba blew up basically off word of mouth. Despite no label support or radio budget, you literally could not escape this song back in 2018. Along with its infectious hook, that part right there is the defining moment of Mo Bamba. However, interestingly enough, the beat cutting out was actually the result of the laptop they were recording on freezing. But since Sheck freestyles all his songs anyways, he just continued rapping. I can't move the mouse. It's already pretty much all the way through this entire song, and I know if it cuts out, we'll probably just end up going home. But then as soon as he was like, oh, shit, then everything just came right back at unfroze and then like eight bars after that had just like magically appeared. The year of 2018 just kept getting better and better for Sheck West. As Mo Bamba was going crazy, the track would catch the ear of fellow rapper Travis Scott, who immediately loved Sheck's music and energy and wanted to sign him to his label. But then Kanye West stepped in. My deal was about to be signed with Cactus Jack and then Kanye heard Mo Bamba. He flew me out to LA overnight to meet up with him and push a T. I went in there with a butterfly effect hat on and he calls Trav like, I heard you're f***ing with Sheck West. Let's do this shit together. I really want to just bring out one of the most, uh, one of the illest ragers I know, a Cactus Jack rager for sure. Sheck would officially sign a joint record deal with Kanye West's good music label, Travis Scott's Cactus Jack, and Interscope Records in 2018. Travis was now bringing him out at shows, Drake brought him out in Toronto, Mo Bamba was added to 2K, and Sheck West was heard on Travis's new album Astroworld, as well as he also got name dropped in Drake's Sicko Mode verse. To keep the momentum rolling, his debut studio album Mud Boy released in the fall of 2018. Going on to peak at number 17 on the Billboard charts, that's honestly pretty good for a rapper's first project. However, despite announcing his second project just a day after this one's release, as of today, Mudboy is still Sheck West's only album. The following year, 2019, was nowhere near as good to Sheck West. With only three singles and a feature on the Cactus Jack Jack Boys collab project, Sheck was also met with abuse and SA allegations made against him. From singer Justin Skye to then ex-girlfriend and social media personality India Love calling him out, although no charges were pressed and he denies them, these very public claims were not a good look for Sheck's image. But then 2020, arrived. And along with the COVID pandemic also came a new opportunity for Sheck West to chase his dream. The saying all rappers want to be hoopers and all hoopers want to be rappers doesn't exactly apply to Sheck West. As we saw earlier, prior to finding major success in modeling and music, basketball was Sheck's first love, and what was in his eyes the only way out. Damn, it's really real, the 2020 NBA draft. Playing basketball and going to play pro in the NBA is something I always strive for. Tonight, that dream comes true. Sheck West had announced that he was eligible for the 2020 NBA draft, but as expected, he went undrafted. The whole thing was more so a promotion for his new single, that same day, Ben Bolin, in which he does get drafted by a fake Adam Silver in the music video. The New York Knicks select, select. While no NBA team selected Sheck, this new song actually did spark an idea into one overseas club, the Paris basketball team. Competing in the second tier of basketball in France, the Paris basketball team was struggling to recover from the pandemic, with interest and attendance numbers at an all-time low. So despite admitting that he had no clue whether or not he could play at the required level of their league, one of the team's owners reached out to Sheck West. With the goal to achieve his lifetime dream as well as prove himself as a legit player, Sheck agreed to join for the 2021 season. I didn't come here to sell my album or make it gimmicky. I came here with no chains on just to hoop and play hard, said Sheck. Do you have a goal in basketball in Paris? Yeah. Drop buckets. Get wins. However, Sheck would only end up playing in three games with the team. And as we can see by his stats here, he finished with this one three-pointer and a free throw. Il ressort pour Sheck West à trois points, à trois points pour Sheck West et ça, ça va faire lever la foule. For whatever reason, Sheck West didn't last long with the Paris Basketball Club. Maybe it was too much for him, maybe he wasn't nearly as good enough. Or maybe he just decided he didn't want to play anymore. 
The truth is, Shekwes can do whatever he wants now. As we just saw, he's already lived a very eventful life and rough childhood, so then after making millions of dollars off of one single song, honestly it's understandable if he wants to chill out of the public eye. Besides the very rare Shekwes feature we hear about once a year, in addition to the rare appearance at Rolling Loud or on an Aiden Ross stream, Shek has still been teasing his second studio album he announced five years ago, possibly now named You Know The Scouts despite Travis Scott telling us that it would be out by the time he dropped Utopia, Shek claims it will still drop this year. But like one fan replied, he's also said that for the past five years. After three more singles in 2022, the latest we've heard from him was actually on Utopia. Although I bet the average listener didn't even notice. Shek West's ad libs can be heard on track 8, Fiend, along with Playboy Cardi. For some reason though, Shek also originally had a verse on the song too, which despite getting cut, can still be heard on the vinyl. If we're being real, with still over 5 million monthly listeners and Mo Bamba quickly approaching a billion streams, honestly Shek could easily be set for life if he's managed his money well. He's also never really seemed like the type of guy to even care about clout or these big numbers. I want to leave a legacy where my great great grandkids are like, look that's my grandfather's name. I want to build schools and hospitals because that's what true legacy is. So while yes, Shek West's hype has significantly died down since Mo Bamba took the world by storm, not only do I think he's okay with that, but again a song like Mo Bamba is incredibly difficult to follow up, especially as a new artist. Starting your career backwards, you gotta be a superstar from the jump. So sometimes it's a lot to handle. At the age of 25, Shek West has already accomplished his biggest goals while also making millions of dollars in the process. With an iconic hit to his name that will live forever, coming from where he did and experiencing everything he went through, it's understandable if Shek wants to just chill now and live his life on his own time.